What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Alice and please don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. If you're not new, welcome back to my channel. So for today's recipe, I decided to show you one of the recipe that I grew up with. This is not a family recipe, but it belongs to a bakery that I, we used to go um, when I was little in Italy, we loved the bread there. When we didn't make it at home, we always go there to get their bread. It was delicious. They're very, very old bakery. So I reach out to them and I ask uh, if they can give me their breadsticks recipe. But this is not like a common breadsticks that you can find in the United States or in Canada. This is called Grissini. They're crunchy, they're thin, they're nothing even close to the one that you guys know in the United States or North America. Well, United States is part of North America, right? Yeah, me and geography don't really go really well, but you know what I mean, Canada and United States. And this recipe, it's super, super easy. You're only gonna need a few ingredients and trust me, those breadsticks, well, Grissini, with a nice prosciutto or a nice fresh mozzarella, man, it's a game changer. It's so, so delicious, but super easy. But enough rambling, let's get to the ingredients. So for this recipe, the ingredients that you're gonna need are flour, warm water, dry yeast, salt, extra virgin olive oil, semolina flour, and sugar. All right, first things, you're gonna pour your flour into your mixer. Then you're gonna add your dry yeast, your sugar, and the extra virgin olive oil. Then while it's mixing, you're gonna pour the water little by little. After mixing for a couple minutes, you're gonna add your salt and mix it for eight to 10 minutes. Then you're gonna grab your dough, you're gonna place it inside your bowl, and then you're gonna cover it with a lid or with plastic cup, and you're gonna let it rise for four hours. After four hours, this is the result. So what do you wanna do now? You're gonna grab your semolina flour and you're gonna dust. And dust the surface with more semolina flour. And then gently with your hand, you're just gonna flatten it up. Once you're done flatting your dough, you're gonna grab a tray and you're gonna put a little bit of parchment paper. And then with the help of a dough cutter, you're gonna cut long strips. Italian Grissini at 400 Fahrenheit for about 18 to 20 minutes and after that I'm gonna be back for the best part the taste test have it your beautiful italian grissini 
this is what Grissini looks like. As you can see, they're like nice and thin, super, super light and nice and crunchy. And I just wanted to show you. And the semolina flour gives a nice crunch. So make sure you use semolina flour. Don't use the regular flour. It looks so good. You can also add in the dough if you want to you can add some rosemary some saute onions some very fine chopped olives you can make any flavors do you like this is the basic but like i said always the world is yours make it as flavorful or plain as you like because we have to enjoy the food that we love. And also I just wanted to show you like, like the crunch, did you hear the crunch? It's like, it's super, super crunchy. And like I say, it's perfect with lunch meat, a charcuterie board with cheeses, or as a side dish, instead of eating bread, this is perfect and they're like popcorn. You can't stop eating it, it's one after the other. But now the best part, the one, that I'm always waiting and craving for because this is the only time that I get to eat my carbs because it makes me fat, but I wanna enjoy myself. So I'm gonna try it. Mmm. Like they're so crunchy, but they're so fluffy at the same time. They're so delicious and this has the same taste as the one from the bakery. So the recipe, it's a good one. This is not the first time that I'm making this, but you know, sometimes things happen. Some people that have bakeries for many, many years, they don't want to give away the recipe, but because they know that I'm in Canada, I'm not in Italy, so I'm not a threat for them. <laughs> they gave me the recipe. They're still, mm. You hear the crunch? Mm. So good. I hope you're enjoying spending time with me. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And also make sure that you're gonna share this recipe with all your family and friends. And we're growing really, really fast. So I'm so, so happy that you guys enjoy my recipe and also all the measurements. You can find that in the description box down below as well as my Facebook and Instagram page. And if you're gonna recreate this beautiful recipe, please take a picture and tag me at Alice Contuzini on Instagram again in the description box down below. And until next time, I'll see you soon, my beautiful people. Bye, love you.